What's happening, everybody? Trey here, joined as always by my dad, Sean. And today, reactions to the classics. We're uh, gonna throw uh, throw it into two groups we haven't featured exactly. on the channel yet, courtesy of our uh, a new patron, brand new of the channel, and Cat Dub. Thank you, and Cat, for uh, bringing this to our attention. As you can see at the bottom, we're gonna be looking at Vandergraaff Generators uh, track last frame, and that's gonna go against Camper uh, von Beethoven, all her favorite fruit. So, uh, man, uh, it seems like we got some sophisticated names up it, in here it does man and so and cat dub says i'm going to recommend two art rock gems that so far have not been reacted to both are slow burner songs that build to a powerful and grand finale i always love those so trailer start with the <laughs> vandergraaf generator last frame from the quiet zone the pleasure dome and way back in 1977 like and cat dub says last frame is from the final vdg album of their classic era and mm. it sported a different lineup and approach to Sonics, much more clean and crisp sounding than the earlier material. They are an English progressive band formed all the way back in 1967 in Manchester oh, wow. by singer-songwriters Peter Hamill and Chris Judge Smith. And the first act signed by Charisma Records, they did not experience much commercial success in the UK, but became popular in okay. Italy during the 1970s. You don't got to be popular in your home way. You just got to be popular somewhere, somewhere. keep that record deal. No, uh, 100%. And uh, as always, we're going to have the lyrics pulled up. I'm going to take in, enjoy the song, and then give our thoughts at the end. Then we'll uh, move to all her favorite fruit after this and uh, dive into that one. And uh, yeah, I think that about covers it. it. Thanks again to Ann Cat Thank Duncan. You. Uh, let's get up. Last frame, bringing it here. Um, going in, I know we were both totally blind on the group i see progressive rock i have a love hate relationship with the genre man. i do too but, but this is this hit this hit i mean you mentioned it the guitar works fantastic the drumming throughout but here's my question for you trey did this dude kill her dude well uh, we have that uh we That's have what that, i think that photographic um yeah. imagery and uh kind of it's the last nods, frame my man uh throughout it all and he says his hobby keeps him busy and if i talk to myself what's the crime in the dark room so yet again the photo dark room where exactly. we develop the photos i'm a dealer in space and time when all memory is mellowed when the photograph is yellowed still it never lies so that that's an interesting perspective that because i like that line there still it never lies the photograph yeah. is going to tell the truth no matter what it is but as we go in the song he kind of uh, uh takes some um uh, i don't know if shots is too strong a word but he takes aim at this other person a little he bit does, in like the way towards, they live towards the verse uh, in the verse two uh for every appetite a cruel attraction but there's a panic in your actions so i never saw you look so strange fixing memory chemically so he took a picture i think he took a picture of her after he killed her Ooh. holding time on the stock clock hanging back from that last frame just in case it didn't show you and the way i used to know Ooh, you you're I right you'd man. always stay the same but you won't <laughs> and then he kind of notes the red light the silver um the the silence the waiting for an overview yet again waiting i think for these this literally this last frame to develop um the past seems underexposed low tide but still the images ghost through and you're there in the bath which is all led to um and i can't say your path is a right one to choose uh but then i only have a negative because he you. killed her Dude, I think I, I wasn't get I, I didn't even think I of might that. be totally wrong, but I'm selling trade. But on this. once you said that, I think that's a valid interpretation. Which makes the song man. even that much. I mean, Ooh. I'm not advocating murder by any means, but that much better. Like it's Dude. just well, and I enjoyed it. We had that a minute where we almost we had that violin introduction, yeah. which was a, a bit unique. And then, um, like you said, some of those fills were fantastic. That guitar really ramped up to a, a, a Gilmore esque. That's Gilmore what I was thinking. Solo. I get a little, little Floyd action there. Um, so. So, wow, I, I was honestly quite impressed with that one, um, just uh, going in and, and, uh, and, yeah, your interpretation threw me for, for a loop there, Sean, but I think you're onto something. And, uh, I bet Ancat Dub will know and tell us in the comments. But, <laughs> um, but now, Dad, we're going to go to Camper uh, Von Beethoven, all her favorite fruit from the record Key Lime Pie, 1989, their final album. Ancat Dub notes, references life in a colonial state from the point of view of an imperialist, I suppose, but the lyrics are surreal in their structure. So is it all just a dream? Frontman David Lowry said in an interview that it was based on the romance between Jessica Swanwick and Roger Mexico from the Thomas Pinchon novel, Gravity's Rainbow. Whatever that means to you, <laughs> never heard of the novel, never heard of these people, but let's check it out.
between her chin and shoulder. And I can almost smell her breath faint with a sweet scent of decay. She serves him mashed potatoes. And she serves him peppered steak and corn. Not lying, she usually <laughs> says. <laughs> up over her head. We're getting those details. Let's it fall to the floor. Right, all her favorite fruit, uh, bringing it, man. Um, yet again, we had uh, those interesting strings. I mean, I don't know if that indeed was another violin that was uh, through our or, or something else. But uh, you know, I almost I, had an Irish Scottish. Sound no, you're, you're you're right. I was getting some of those elements. But, I mean, they're from America, well. but. Yeah, no, uh, straight from straight from California, man. Um, and what what are your thoughts on this one, Dad? Uh, just from my um, uh, like storytelling standpoint. 
I think that he's he's in love with this girl, and maybe he was once. I don't know if he admires her from afar. They were once together, but now she's with it's an age old story. Trey, now she's with a rich guy, and I think I mentioned you know during that second verse, it's funny because mm-hmm. she serves him mashed potatoes and she serves him peppered steak with corn, and I was like, you don't usually hear verses like that, son. No, but the, the details, um, and I, I think that's a good point to add. That second verse, I think, is where it switched because I yes. think at the start, I drive alone home from work. I think of her late at night. I call her, but I never say a word, and. Uh, uh, you know, I can squeeze the phone between her chin and shoulder. So I was thinking, I was like, you know, I see the the colony type of time. And I right. was thinking throwback, and uh, there there weren't phones back then. Right. This or that. And then he notes, I can almost smell her breath, faint of a sweet scent of decay. And then I think that almost gets him down this road where he's in his own little head right now, starting with the serves and mashed potatoes. Thinking on. of all the stuff she's doing with this other guy, and then that third verse, and I'd like to take her there rather than this train. Well, and if I weren't a civil servant, I'd have a place in the colonies. We play croquet <laughs> behind whitewashed walls and drink our tea at four within interventions distance of the embassy. So I think she's with a rich guy. Mm-hmm. And he's like, man, if I had that, then we would do these that's things too. I could provide these things. I could totally be wrong. Who the heck knows? No, you know, that's a, that's kind of what I'm feeling on this is too right here. I, I think his voice. You can't have the girl. No, man. That's that, that age old story. You yeah. want what you can't have. And it's it's driving me mad, as uh, Morrissey said back in the day. Um, that, you know, musically too, a, a bit more um, kind of uh, subdued than the uh, ba- um, Vandergraaff De- song. Definitely. Still really good instrumentally, mm-hmm. just not nearly as complex. Just, uh, yeah, just something, something different, man. And I, yet again, I enjoyed. Uh, you know, five minute tune was able to breathe a little bit, and yeah. uh, you know, kind of a uh, uh, up to that that climax, that conclusion that really brought together musically and uh, storytelling wise, uh, brought it all to a head. But Dad, that'll take us now to our overall winner of this battle. I'll cue us off, man. Though I did enjoy the uh, the all her favorite fruit track and respected it for what it was, I just think that the uh, <laughs> the last frame. Ooh, that song was just at a, another level for me, storytelling-wise and instrumentally with the drumming and the guitar. So I got to go with uh, Van der Graaff, uh, Generator's Last Frame. Yeah, and the biggest compliment I can pay to both of these songs is they're both long, six mm-hmm. minutes and five minutes and some change, and neither one of them feel like it. No, you're and right. Sometimes the longer songs, you're like, man, is this going to end? Like, they don't feel like it at all. They move really quick. Very good battle. Enjoyed both these songs a lot. I got to go with you, too. I mean, Last Frame's just on another... On, on another frame, another plane. Man. No, man. But it, they're both really good songs. Yeah, definitely. And and, uh, and Cat Dub. They, they, Coming in hot with they that started, first battle. That's what I'm saying, man. I'm, I'm looking forward to future selections. And let us know which of these two you have as the winner. And be sure to show some love to old and Cat Dub here for bringing this to the channel. If you'd like to be a patron as well, have us do a song battle or reaction for you. You can check out our Patreon page. Just going to be linked down below as well as at the end screen along with another video that you might enjoy. It's always dead. Appreciate all the research. Yeah, this one's quite interesting. And until next time, we will see you.